Hello, welcome back to Rabbits Forever. So today I wanted to do a quick kind of synopsis of whether or not a satin should be your first rabbit breed. And if you're into rabbits but you've never owned a satin, I can also give you advice. Well, this video can tell you whether you want a satin or not. Personally, for first rabbits, for a first rabbit breed, I say no. I usually never say that. <laughs> because because um most rabbit breeds they just have their own little quirks and it's the same here but for a first rabbit you really don't want something skittish or something that you're a little afraid that's gonna bite you and honestly my boy was very sweet very very sweet and I don't have him with me right now that's why I'm doing a face video instead of a video of him on the table or anything like that because I ended up selling him very young. I wanted to show him a little bit but the personality I just couldn't take and usually I love all breeds of rabbits. I really do. I mean I even loved my English spot. I loved my um, my Netherland dwarfs, my silver fox, loved them. All of them. And yeah, some of them I wouldn't recommend for first time breeders unless you're willing to, you know, put in a little bit extra work like the English Angoras or the English Spot. But this one I definitely don't recommend for first time breeders at all. Or not even a first time breeder, but a pet even. Because the one that I had, and I talked to some satin breeders, and they said that this is actually very mild temperament for them. So, I know I'll never get into a satin again, or I'll never buy a satin again unless I am doing it strictly for show and not really for pet or anything like that. Snuggles or, I don't know. But, um, the buck that I had, you guys have seen him in previous videos, the chinchilla satin. I did him for the commercial body type video and stuff like that. Well, he is very skittish, or was very skittish. He wasn't nippy at all, he wasn't aggressive, it was just that if you wanted to pick him up, it was a fight. Because he was trying to jump out of my arms, he was scratching, he was just didn't want to be held. But honestly, for as every show, every person who shows rabbits knows that you have to handle your animals. <laughs> you have to bring them up to the show table. You have to clip their nails. You have to groom them. You have to do all that stuff with them and spend time with them so that way they're easily handled. handled. They're easily, they're easy to handle. There you go. Can't speak today. Sorry about that. <laughs> But, so that's the reason why I'd say no to a first-time pet owner of a rabbit, and even a first-time breeder, because I've heard they're okay breeders, because some people say that they're really bad moms. Personally, like I said in previous videos, I never bred him. I didn't even take him to a show. I just had him for a short period of time. I I don't even think I had him more than like three months. And usually I keep my animals a bit longer than that. Sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes I do sell them quicker than that just because I realize early on that it's just not going to work for me. Or it's a skittish animal. I really hate keeping skittish animals. I mean, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Skittish is okay, I'll breed it, especially if it's a nice doe or something like that, but my bucks, I really don't like keeping skittish bucks. Um, other than that, he was a great feeder, beautiful fur, I loved the pelt on him. I would breed him just for the pelt. But also, as I said in a previous video, I'm a huge chinchilla fan. Love the coloring, I wish all my animals I could breed in that color. But for satins, yeah, like I said, I sold him really quick because I just couldn't deal with his temperament. I didn't like how skittish he was. He fought me every time I had to clip his nails. He 
every time I would bring him out to groom, he would just scrunch up into a corner and that was it. And personally, as a pet, I don't see that to be good at all. And breeding in a buck since it's not bad, I bet he would have been a good breeder. Um, for does though, from what I've heard from other breeders who do breed satins, or their nickname in the rabbit world is Satans, which I learned after I bought him, <laughs> but they, I just really don't recommend them. And I hope this video helped you decide whether you want a satin or not. But if you have any questions, comment below. Have a great day. Bye.